Hello everyone, Amanda here from scrimpingmommy.co.uk Thanks for joining me today and this is my hashtag number one um, of my 31 day crafty challenge and I'm starting with a really pretty card using a brand new Parisian beauty stamp set I'm absolutely in love with anything Parisian anything that looks a little bit shabby chic or vintage um, and I'm happy in there and I'm going to be using some of the uh, paper from the same suite, it's absolutely beautiful and I'm using this one which is a script and it's foiled it's absolutely beautiful purple um, so this is all available from January the 3rd I'm super exciting <laughs> beautiful beautiful papers so let's get started so I've already cut my card base and this started at 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 scored it in the middle at 5 and 7 8 I've pre-cut some of my paper and this measures 3 and 7 8 by 5 and 5 8 and you can see that beautiful foiled script there um, it really is very pretty and then I've got a stamping layer um, that's not the right one is this the right one? nope I've not cut that right, I need to cut that a little bit smaller like it needs to be. Let me just check the measurements of it. Three and a half by five and a half, is that right? I think I want it a bit smaller than that, let me just check. Uh, no, that's right. That's right. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to glue my DSP onto my card. And don't forget this DSP is double sided. Each side of every sheet in this stack is stunning. I don't think there's one that I don't like. If I'm honest, um, they're all really beautiful. And I'm using some quick drying glue today. This is non-stamping up. Um, I'm using it because it's got alcohol in it and it's meant to dry quicker. Um, Tombow is now available in the UK and Europe. So I need to get my bum into gear and get some ordered. Um, so yeah, it is back in. St it's it's available. Um, the customs restrictions on that have been lifted now. Um, so that's really good news. We're getting there slowly but surely. All right, so that is all nice and firm on there. Okay, and I've been doing some trimming using my little new trimmer today. It's really good for small sections of your card making and for doing those fab sentiments as well. Um, and you can get this if you join um, during January, February or March. You get this as a free gift. Um, so it's worth it if you uh, like little free gifts. Uh, stamping up is always brilliant at giving away free stuff. So we're going to do some stamping now. Alright, so I've already mounted my Eiffel Tower, I've got the word script and I've got the word thank you. But first of all, I want to do a small background and for that I'm using a stamp set that I already have in my stash and it's called Birch and this is available in the larger annual catalogue because although we've got the new items coming in January, the main catalogue runs right through till, um, ne till June, till the summer, so don't forget about it. <laughs> all right so on there i want brushing bride so i've mounted it on a large block if you don't have a large block you could just put it flat on the table and add your ink and then what i'm going to do is i've got my card base here i'm just going to gently place it i'm not even doing it on all of it i'm just doing it in bits all right okay don't need the full thing on don't want it all on i'm just doing sections so see which bit I like. I like it that way up. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. And then I'm getting my script. I'm just going to see which way up it goes. I believe it's that way. And on there, with that one, I'm going to use crumb cake. Okay. Which is a lovely, soft, subtle brown. So we're going for pinks and browns here. All right. And I'm just going to stamp just above the halfway mark. All right, it doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do three sets. All right, and you've got that beautiful script. Um, and from a distance, you can't tell that you've stamped the same one three times. It just looks like a bunch of script. All right, so let me just back that away. And then we're going to get, um, I'm going to use basic grey to stamp the Eiffel Tower on. Because I think the black, um, I tried it with black and it looked quite harsh. Okay, 
so basic grey is just a little bit softer and all I'm going to do is stamp that directly over my script and kind of aiming for the middle of my card but again doesn't matter if it's not perfect all right make sure you've got good pressure on that that's that bit done all right and then i'm going to add something a little bit what might look a little bit bizarre and i'm going to add some melon mambo okay and what i've done is i've just brought in a floral flourish from another stamp set um, that's still in, uh, that was in the annual catalogue, it's still there and it's called Colourful Seasons and I just love the little flowers here. So to add a little pop of colour on this subtle card, which might otherwise be a little bit meh, you know, a bit bland, I'm going to add some Melon Mambo and I'm just going to add it to just one corner like so. So it's like a uh, spring flowers in Paris, okay? <laughs> Right, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to distress. So, so far, this is what I call simple stamping because all we've done is stamped images flat onto a card base, just used a variety of colours and that is very, very simple, just layering one on top of the other. All right, so to step your simple stamping up, what you can do is you can rough up the edge of the card just with a pair of scissors, just watch your fingers. All right, and this just gives a bit of a, a vintage, a shabby, chic kind of a look. Okay. And if you rip the card slightly, it doesn't matter. All that does is adds to the adds to the feel. Get rid of the uh, get rid of the fluff, and then just run your fingers around because we're going to ink, and we don't want that fluff in our ink pad. So just remove the fluff. Bring your uh, blushing bride back in. Okay, put some ink on and ink those edges. It's very subtle, um, it just does add just a subtle pinkness there. It's not strong at all, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And then just go all the way around the edges to give it that dreamy, almost like it's a vintage kind of a photograph look. It really does look lovely. And it's very simple effect to do. Anybody can do it. So there we go. Alright, so, so far we've got very simple stamping. All I'm going to do now is get my other bottle of glue. I'm kind of using up all half bottles of glue and old glue uh, until my Tombow comes through. So I've put some glue on the back of there and we're just going to very simply add that but to just add a bit of interest we're going to add it slightly on a slant so we're not adding it straight okay all right so i'm going to show you another way that you can now step that up that card looks lovely as it is but i'm going to show you another way of stepping that up okay so what i've done if i can find it where i put it what i did off camera um is i stamped a second Eiffel Tower and then I've just cut it out. Now there are thinlets to go with this stamp set which are absolutely stunning. I didn't get them and um, so I've managed to cut that Eiffel, uh, Eiffel Tower out really really simply and easily. Um, sometimes um, I do pause when I say Eiffel Tower because I've got Blackpool Tower in my head because <laughs> if you're not in the UK uh, Google Blackpool Tower <laughs> Oh dear, and that is what I see sometimes when I'm looking at the Eiffel Tower. So I've got to concentrate and make sure I don't call it the Blackpool Tower. Because they are more or less the same thing. Okay, so I'm just adding a smaller dimensional to the top. That's why we've got two sizes. So we've got the larger ones there and then where the Eiffel Tower goes, smaller at the top. I don't have to faff about cutting my dimensionals into pieces. I've got them in two sizes. It just makes life a little bit easier. All right, and then we're just going to literally layer that over the top of the stamped one. All right, like so. And that gives you a nice 3D look to your card. All right, and we're just going to add one more thing to step it up just that a little bit further we need some sparkle and so these are the brand new champagne rhinestone basic jewels they're absolutely beautiful 
masking care. I've used a few because I did make this card yesterday. And um, when I was filming it, I, you know, I was on a roll. I was loving it. And then when I'd finished, I realised I hadn't switched the camera on. So, <laughs> so yeah, it was one of them. I was a little bit uh, annoyed, but I thought, oh, well, I'll do it again tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Um, another thing that you can do to make your cards look a little bit more shabby uh, is just curl up those corners, okay? Just curl them like so um, because the rest of it's stuck down and it just makes it look even more, you know, the distressed vintage kind of look. All right, so I'm just adding these little rhinestones to the center of these little stamped flowers, and that will just add a little bit of um, a little bit more a li an extra touch of a special to the card. Uh, and also, you know, we do like twinkles. Anything that sparkles, anything that's glitter is always going to just make your card look that bit nicer because it's going to obviously catch the light. That's if I can get. Can't get that slippery little sucker off. <laughs> there we go. And there is such a lovely colour of those rhinestones. So there we go. And this was the one that I made yesterday. Um, and I've curled th th those the other way. So there we go. We've got a lovely um, Parisian theme shabby vintage style card in next to no time. You can stamp it flat or you can step it up with an extra layer and some of those lovely rhinestones. I hope you like that. I hope that you are um, going to join me in my hashtag 31 uh, days craft challenge. That's number one out of the way and I'll see you again soon.